Okay, welcome back to a clip on pivot tables where we discuss some of the things that can be a bit confusing in the beginning because you will have to be very clear about what you cross tabulate. So to illustrate, we'll look at this example again that we already know and insert a new pivot table. I've deleted the old one and insert. Yep, our range, that should be it. New worksheet, okay. Enlarge that a little. And then we started off with variety and we dragged that down to the rows. One of the questions that often comes up is what, which column do you drag down to the values field? Now that can be a bit of a, a there can be a difference. Um, generally you can uh, drag the same one down here and it will give you the count of variety. So that's the value that we had before. You can also drag other columns in there. Um, suppose you'd like the genre. Yeah, it gives you the same um, results. You could drag uh, voice down here. Yeah, it gives you the same result that we had previously. But that doesn't work if I drag a year into it. Okay, so all of a sudden that number looks very fishy. I mean, we don't have that many observation observations. So why does it give us not the 42, 20 something uh, distribution that we had previously? Um, but that's because now it gives you the sum of year. Okay, if you go back to our master sheet, um, notice that in the column year, what is in there is a, is a number. I mean, we treat it as a categorical variable because one is old, 1961, and one is newer, 1991. But what Excel tries to do is, because this is uh, essentially a numerical value, that's why you see, because it's uh, right aligned here, it will think that you're trying to sum things, not count the rows, right? But it tries to sum up the values in each cell because it's a numeric uh, value. That's why you have these huge numbers here. Um, if that happens, you can either, of course, get rid of that variable and use a, a different column, set, column that you drag into the values field, or you can change that from sum to count. Note that, again, this only happens if you try to um, cross tabulate something that is a numerical value. So if you're on Mac, you just you can click on this little eye symbol. I think on Windows you have to uh, right click and then select the bottom one, sort of something like changing um, the values. So if I click on here, then this little dialog box gives me the option to not select sum because I don't want to sum up the values of the column year, but I want to count how many different um, types of, of numeric numbers are in there essentially. So if I do that, click OK, then I'm back to the original distribution that I would expect. So you may have noticed that there is also um, other values that, or other operations that you can get. I mean, average won't make any sense in the context of year. Um, so sum and count would be the two ones that you uh, would most commonly come into contact with. The same would happen if um, you used um, corpus position, CPOS. Again, that is a numerical thing and it's quite um, quite continuous, so to speak, right? It, it will take a value between one and uh, probably four million uh, because we create four corpora each one million words long, uh, but details won't matter here. Okay, so again, you get a ridiculously high number. Um, so pay attention when you sum up things, what goes where, and then you would obviously want to say, yeah, I want to have to count not the sum of the corpus position. A similar problem um, appears when you try to drag something into the columns that is essentially a numerical uh, value. Uh, so for year, it will have the um, expected effect because we have two in there, 1961 and 1991, so that won't make much of a difference. And I drag variety down here and I get the distribution of uh, perhaps uh, diachronic um, development. But if I do the same thing with, uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, year here um, with corpus position, 
Again, you would have to change sums to counts. And finally, if you do the same thing with corpus position, if you try to drag corpus position into the columns, that's where it gets really confusing. Um, if you're a beginner, if you're not used to that kind of behavior, because what it now gives you is like an in pretty much a lot of columns. Um, and if you counted all these columns, it should give you something around um, 71 different columns because it will get every unique value in corpus position, its own column in that cross tabulation. And because we have 71 unique corpus positions, therefore you would also get 71 um, aroundabouts uh, columns in there, right? And if you then try to drag variety to the values, you can already see that um, each corpus position uh, can only, I mean, okay, if they're from the same overall corpus would only occur in one um, year, obviously. Yeah, so this is slightly confusing in the beginning. So be critical, try and make sense of the data. If your counts do not make any sense, then check first whether you actually have a count or whether you have a sum. And with deciding what goes into the columns, make sure that you understand the data class in that column that you're talking about, whether that's a numerical value or a value or a variable with lots of different values, such as verbs, uh, right? If I dragged verb into the columns, then it would um, give you similarly odd results. So be critical, play around, gain more experience. It will become easier after a while.